Stocks 101. How do you invest in stocks or even before we go there, what are stocks and the different types of stocks? Because if you didn't know, there are actually many different types of stocks and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So stick around to the very end. Now I'm making this video so you can know what the different types of stocks are to investing depending on what you want to achieve from the stock market and also to either balance or diversify your stock portfolio. So just before we start talking about the stocks, a very quick reminder here, if you're new to the channel and this is the first time that you're seeing one of my videos, my name is Ian and even if it's not the first time, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really, really appreciate it and that's how these videos get recommended to more people here on YouTube. And also consider subscribing to this channel and this will allow you to get the updates every day when I post a new video. And yes, you heard that right. I post a new video here every single day. So if you want daily content on personal finance topics, be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel. So if you are investing in stocks, then comment down below and let me know what the types of stocks are or what types of stocks you are investing. Now, since this is Stocks 101, the first thing I want to do is to start with the definition of a stock and simply put, it's the ownership of a part of a company. So a single share of the stock represents fractional ownership of the corporation in proportion to the total number of shares. And I pull that from Wikipedia. So each time you buy stocks, you're actually making yourself part owner of a company. And the more stocks in that company that you own, the more of a percentage of ownership you have. Now, as for the different types of stocks, and actually, before I get into that, because there are actually two main types of stocks and then subtypes of stocks, if we can call them that. So the first thing I want to mention here is the two main stock types or stock classes. We have preferred stocks and then we have common stocks. All the other types of stocks that I mentioned after this will either be common or preferred. So a common stock is the most popular type of stock. Common stocks are when you have ownership in a company based on the stocks you purchased. These stocks usually yield dividends as well and for each common stock that you own in a company, it gives you one vote for electing board officials and so on. So if you use an investment app like M1 Finance, for example, you may realize that from time to time you get notifications saying that you can vote pertaining to a stock so long as you have one or more stocks and not just a fraction of a stock. Now, common stocks also tend to appreciate well due to capital growth, but the downside to common stocks is that if the company that you own these stocks in ever fails, then you're at the highest risk of losing all your money. This is because they will try to liquidate assets and pay their creditors, bondholders, and those who have preferred shares first. And remember, we talked about this yesterday in the video about investing in bonds for passive income. When you invest in bonds, if the company goes bankrupt, there is a high possibility that if they have assets that can be liquidated, you'll receive at least some of your money, but with stocks, that isn't the case. With common stocks, you're last in line. Now, the next main type of stocks are preferred stocks. So preferred stocks are kind of like uh, in the middle between bonds and common stocks. A preferred stock is the same as a common stock, except you don't normally have the same voting rights as in a common stock. And with preferred stocks, you have a fixed dividend yield, which unlike in common stocks, that can change at any time. Also, with the preferred shares, if the company fails, you're still last in line to receive any compensation, but you are in front of common shareholders, so you could look at this as being less risky. So comment down below now and let me know if this all makes sense to you and if you understand what a common stock is and also what a preferred stock is and also the differences in between each and if you are wondering how you can tell the difference between let's say a common stock and a preferred stock then most companies that have both will use different ticker symbols or modify the ticker symbols. So for example, Warren Buffett, he's probably the most popular investor and he has a company with ticker symbol BRK. So this stock has BRKA and BRKB, and this is how you know the difference between a preferred and a common stock. And this could vary by company or stock, and it could be A or B at the end, or it could be dot A and dot B, or some variation of this, but that's usually how you can tell. So with that aside, let's talk about the different types of stocks, and this can help you to identify which one you should be investing in. So the first one we want to look at here is blue chip stocks. Now, I like to think of blue chip stocks as your safe stocks. A blue chip stock is a stock that is in a very stable company that has a track record of consistently providing good returns 
has low risk and has a very good outlook for the future in terms of providing stable and long-term returns. Now, these stocks are usually on the more expensive side of things, but that's because they're very, very stable. The second type of stocks are speculative stocks, and as the name suggests, these stocks are ones from maybe uh, newer companies that don't have any history, but they usually have the potential to produce very good returns for investors. And these can be stocks in new and emerging industries or just new companies. Now, these stocks don't usually last though, so this is much more risky. But if you want to risk it and have an opportunity to get very, very good rewards, then these stocks are the ones you want to look at. Now, the next type of stock is the growth stock. These are your long-term buy and hold stocks, and this is because these stocks are expected to have very high earnings every year, but they usually don't pay any dividends. Instead, all profits are continuously reinvested, and so you don't get any money from these stocks per se, but they appreciate very well over time. So if you want to buy stocks and hold them for years, then growth stocks are what you need to be looking into. Now, the next type of stocks are value stocks, and again, as the name suggests, these are, well, value stocks. So, usually these stocks are looked at as undervalued and at the same time having a good potential once they get up to current market value and over. Now, when I say undervalued here, if you look at all the asset that a company has and they're worth more than what the stock is, then that's usually an indication that the stocks could be undervalued. So if you buy these stocks and the value goes up to where you think it should be, then you make a profit. The next type of stock is the income stocks, and this is the one you want if you're trying to build a passive income stream from stocks. So income stocks are also blue chip stocks, and I know I mentioned blue chip stocks before, but most blue chip stocks don't pay any dividends, but the ones that do are considered as income stocks, so they share all the same qualities as blue chip stocks, such as having a history of providing consistently good returns, and also being less risky and having a very, very good outlook for the future. So if you want passive income from stocks, the income stocks are the ones that you need to be looking into. Now, the next type of stock is the penny stock, and if you watch the movie Wolf of Wall Street, that's what the guy was doing. He was selling penny stocks. Now, I don't like penny stocks because the risk is really high, and what happened in the movie doesn't usually happen in real life, at least with the companies being successful. And also, if I remember correctly, he actually made most of his money by commissions and not the stocks being successful. But penny stocks are stocks that cost very little. I'm talking about two cents per share. So you can buy thousands of shares in penny stocks for little money. These are usually from small startup companies, and the good thing here is if the company actually succeeds, then a two cent share could be valued at $2 in just a couple months, so do the maths. You could actually get rich, but usually that doesn't happen and these companies fail, but if you want to risk it, then penny stocks are there for you. Now, the final type of stocks are cyclical stocks. The value of these stocks will depend on the economy. These are stocks that will be up in value when the economy is booming and then down when the economy slows down. So an example would be the airlines industry. So as we all know, the economy is down right now and so are airline stocks. And whichever way the economy swings, then they will follow. So these are your seven types of stocks and also two main categories of stocks. Comment down below and let me know if you understand what each type of stock is. And if you want me to do a follow-up video, be sure to comment down below as well. Now, I hope you guys found this video very helpful and you were able to learn more about stocks. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as that's the way these videos get recommended to more people here. And I'll really, really appreciate it. And also guys, giving this video a thumbs up is completely free. Also, be sure to check out some of my other videos here on credit cards, banking apps, savings accounts, ways to make money, and more on investments. Now, if you aren't already investing, be sure to check out M1 Finance or Webull down below in the description, and you can get a bonus, and you also get to invest with fractional shares, so you can get in with as little as $10. Also, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel as that's the only way you'll be able to get updates when I post new videos here and I post a new video here every single day on YouTube. And remember guys, I'm leaving the links down below to free stuff and free cashback offers. So be sure to check all the links down below in the description. Now, if you haven't already seen my other videos on investments, I'll leave a link to them here on the screen. Once again, I hope this video was very helpful. All the best with your investments and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.